Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double E Vibes and in this uh, part I am actually going to explain how the codes will be assigned to these symbols according to the Adaptive Huffman Coding Scheme now. In the adapt Adaptive Huffman Coding Scheme, we actually try to write M which is equal to 2 raised to power E plus R. Since M was equal to 26 in this case and we have to choose the value of E and R such that the value of r should always be less than 2 raised to power e okay so if i choose e if e is equal to 3 in this case then 2 raised to power 3 is equal to 8 and then r will be what will be the value of r 26 minus 8 which is actually 14 not 14 basically 18 in this case which is actually greater than 2 raised to power e so the value of e and r should be chosen such that r is always less than 2 raised to power e so if i choose e is equal to 4 so 2 raised to power 4 is actually equal to 16 then plus 10 will actually satisfy this condition it becomes 26 fine and here you can see that 10 is always less than 16 which is true fine this is actually necessary why because uh, i'll let you know uh, in the adaptive of man coding scheme we have to assign the codes to the symbols in a way that first the nyt code will be transmitted first we will transmit the nyt code for this particular symbol then for any symbol a of k if k lies in the range one to two r which is in this case one is less than k is less than 20 then e plus one bit code will be assigned to k minus 1 bit number or k minus 1 value and or otherwise e bit code will be assigned to k minus r minus 1 value okay so this is basically the fixed code that we will be assigning to each symbol followed by the nyt code but this will be the case when the symbol will be encountered for the first time if the symbol is repeated then we will directly go to the tree and we will read where that symbol is residing from the top and then we will assign the code to it fine so let's just start with the coding procedure since the first symbol encountered is A in this case. Alright. And before the insertion of this symbol, you can see that when the A was not inserted in the same in the tree, we had the NYT code. We, uh, we had no assign any code to the NYT. Why? Because it had no branch. Okay. So A of K is actually equal to 1 because A is the first symbol in the alphabets. So A of K is equal to A and the position shows that it is the first symbol of the alphabets. This implies that K is equal to 1. Alright, since K is lying or it is less than 20, that's why we will assign E plus 1 bit code or 5 bit code because E is equal to 4. So, 5 bit code will be assigned to K minus 1 number. 1 minus 1 because K is 1 in this case 0. So, 0 will be represented in 5 bits and we can do it at 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0. Alright, so the 
symbol A will be assigned the code 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. and since it was encountered for the first time that's why its NYT code had value equal to 0 or nothing. NYT code had no value for this case. Alright, then what happens? The next symbol which is arriving is A again and before the arriving of this symbol the code for the NYT was now 0 and 1 because we know that this is the property of the binary tree that the left branch is assigned the code 0 and the right branch is assigned the code 1. Alright, but now you can see it's already present in the tree so moving from the top root to this A the code value is equal to 1 so simply 1 will be transmitted. So for the next A we can just transmit 1. Alright, now the next symbol A of K is equal to C. This is the new symbol. It is not present in the tree yet. That's why first of all we have to find the NYT code for it. Here is the tree when the Symbol C has not arrived yet. Sorry, this one because A has occurred twice. And we are talking before the arrival of the C. So the NYT code for this, for this case will be equal to 0. That's why NYT code is 0. The next step is to gen add the fixed code after that. And how we can add the fixed code since C is at the third position in the alphabets A, B and C. So I will write 3. And this implies that k is equal to 3 in this case. Fine. Now, as it is less than 20, k is lying within the range of the r. So that's why we will assign it or we will assign 5 bit code again. E plus 1 bit code again. 5 bit code will be assigned to k minus 1 number. So k minus 1 is 2. k minus 1 is equal to 2. So we will represent 2 in 5 bits which is equal to 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. How? Because this is 2 raised to power 0, this is 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3 and 2 raised to power 4. So here this weight is only 1. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and the NYT code was 0 so I will append before it and, in, and hence the letter C will be assigned this code 0 0 0 0 1 0 all right now the next symbol in the sequence is B fine which is again the new node or the new number and what we have to do before the insertion of the C we will look for the NYT code since this branch is assigned 0 this is 1 this is 0 this is 1 so the NYT code before the insertion of D is actually 0 0 so I will write for the D 0 0 and then I have to add the fixed code since D is at the fourth position A B C D okay and 4 is less than 20 means it is lying within this range that I mentioned it's in the range of R 1 is less than equal to K is less than equal to 2R so it's basically K, is, K which is equal to 4 in this case so 4 is less than 20 that's why I will assign a, assign a 5 bit number to k minus 1 value so 4 minus 1 is actually equal to 3 and 3 will be represented now in 5 bits which is equal to 0 0 0 1 1 all right so this is the fixed score that i will write after the n y t code triple zero one and hence this is the code according to the adaptive huffman coding scheme that will be assigned to d okay now the next symbol in the sequence is B again. 
all right so we are talking about since 1d has arrived when 1d has arrived in this sequence all we need to do is just to see or read its code starting from the root to not where the d is residing okay so starting from here i have to go to this branch 0 1 sorry then 0 then 0 and then 1 so since d is lying over here so 0 0 1 is the code that will be transmitted now because it is already present in the tree we don't need to look for the nyt and the fix code if a node is already present in the tree all right now the next symbol is v here and again v is arriving for the first time that's why we will not read its value from the tree first we will look for the value of nyt code before the v is inserted v is inserted when the two d's have arrived okay and the sibling property is also satisfied so two d has two d's have arrived and the sibling property is also satisfied in this case so let's just look at or find the value of nyt node in this case the value of the nyt node in this case is one one zero one one zero so i'll assign one one zero okay one one zero and then the fixed code since a of k is equal to v and v is the 22nd alphabet of letters that's why k is equal to 22 now you can see that k doesn't lie within the range of 2r because 2r was equal to 20 it's greater than 20 so we will assign e bit code to k minus r minus 1 number so k is 22 minus 10 minus 1 which is equal to 11 so we will represent 11 in 4 bits now so 1 0 1 1 like 8 4 2 1 so 8 plus 2 plus 1 is actually equal to 11 and the nyt code was 110 so i will just write 10 double 1 in this case fine so in this way we will encode the v fine now the last number to be encoded which is left in this string is actually e okay and obviously first we have to uh, it's again a new node so we cannot actually write its value by traversing through the tree fine we have to find the value of the nyt node for before the insertion of this node because e has not been inserted yet in the tree okay which is actually this tree fine and i'll just read the value of nyt node in this case it's 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay so e will be encoded as 0 0 0 0 4 0 0 0 uh just a minute it's one sorry it's one it's one so basically zero one one zero zero is actually the value of this code node it's one one zero zero for the nyt node node zero 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 because nyt was lying over here so it's one one zero zero fine and then i have to assign the fixed code to e so a of k is equal to e and e is the fifth alphabet so k is equal to 5 which is less than 2 times of r means 5 is less than 20 now so we will assign e plus 1 bit code to k minus 1 k minus 1 is actually equal to 4 so 4 will be represented in 5 bits which is 0 1 0 0 and then i have to append 0 1 1 more 0 so it's 4, 4 is represented in 4 bits and hence first we write down the nyt code followed by this fixed code in this way we will be performing the encoding procedure and hence each symbol has been assigned a code that i will show you here 
So here is the final result as per the adaptive Hoffman coding scheme and in this way we can see we have assigned the variable length code uh, and uh, adaptive Hoffman coding is uh, better as compared to the simple Hoffman coding scheme why because in the adaptive Hoffman scheme we don't need to know the frequencies of the symbols beforehand we start uh, we keep encoding and decoding based on the arrival of the symbols if you have some questions you can drop your questions in the comment section uh, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like.